My wife used to be the attractive one. Now the tables have turned. I am 30, male, my wife is 33, female. We've been together for 10 years now. I am posting from a throwaway because some friends know my username. I was a skinny guy with an arts degree. I am tall, but I am also dark, used to have bad hair, skin, and I was as heavy as a twig, 6 feet 3 inches and 77 kgs. I also had a bad career path at the time. Also I had no sense of style. I just wore what I felt was comfortable. My wife was a stunner though. She has been good looking her entire life. She was and is fit, tall, 5 feet 9 inches, had beautiful, fair skin, has a great sense of style and was in a great career path. You could say that she was way out of my league. She was in the marketing department, and I was in content, and we sort of hit it off. She says that although she wasn't particularly physically attracted to me when we met, my mind turned her on. We have always been very intellectually compatible. Our sense of humor, values, goals all match up. Our friend group never failed to mention how lucky I was. We were called the Oreo couple I was dark, she was fair, ergo Oreo. We're all Indians and the beauty standards here are strange. Fair people are considered better looking than dark-skinned people. I didn't have the maturity at the time to establish boundaries or express that it hurt me, and she seemed to like the attention, validation so it just sort of stuck. We even got an Oreo cake on our engagement party. This was all five years ago. We moved because she found a good job in another state. Then we went through a lot of changes. During this time, I found a good career in copywriting, which she suggested. And now I make a good amount, 1.5x more than her. Whereas she feels burnt out and only goes to work because she has to. She also gained some weight during this time. The thing, I started therapy during lockdown and I changed. I started working out, eating well, was able to stick to a schedule. I now weigh 98 kgs, mostly muscle but no abs or whatever. I am fit, but I have a bit of pudginess I guess. I also went a dermat for my skin, and now I have clear-ish skin but I'm still dark. Because of the weight, my face structure has also changed. Clothes also fit me better, and I am a bit more confident now. My wife encouraged this, but she didn't participate. We shifted back to our original town, and our friends. They were very surprised to see us. The first time we met the whole discussion was focused on me, my, glow up. I must admit, it felt very validating. But, the conversation turned to my wife. Oh what happened to you, you used to be so pretty, etc. It was disguised as concern, but still. I asked her if she was okay, and I asked our friends to end this conversation. They apologized and we left. Now. My wife refuses to stay in the same room as me. She randomly blows up at me, telling me that she hates that I am the attractive one and that she feels lesser than me. That she feels used up and worthless. She says that she'll never have sex with me again, and questioned my attraction to her. It's been this way for two days. Honestly I still don't get this. To me, she's still the attractive one among us. I still see myself as ugly. The only thing that changed about me is that I have muscles now. I am still dark-skinned and have curly hair. She is fair, fairly fit, and has beautiful hair. She won't listen to me. She says that she has been feeling this way for some time now, and now that our friends have validated these negative thoughts she thinks it is the truth. I try to tell her that I still think that she's the better-looking person among us, but she says it doesn't matter. Apparently me telling her that she's beautiful is pointless, because I have to say it. She says that she liked it when I was the ugly one. We're at an impasse, and I don't know how to approach this anymore. So, any advice? We were called the Oreo couple I was dark, she was fair, ergo Oreo. We're all Indians and the beauty standards here are strange. Fair people are considered better looking than dark skinned people. And your wife was okay with this? She was okay when you were the, unattractive, one? I'm South Asian and I know the culture surrounding skin color. It can be soul crushing and it is also deeply entrenched. It is breathtaking how casually cruel people can be if you're dark-skinned and Asian. Not other races, your own community. Fair skin is lauded in song and dance. It is glorified. And dark-skinned people are mocked. And yet she was okay with it all when you were the one feeling what she does now. She says that she liked it when I was the ugly one. That's what's truly ugly. Her insecurities are her problem and not yours no matter what you say or won't change how she feels about herself. She needs to work on that and her jealousy issues be supportive and maybe suggest therapy. I don't love that her confidence came from thinking she was the attractive one that feels shallow, childish and naive. 
she should be happy for you and not jealous but again it's a her problem and change has to come from within, not from you. Edit. Skimmed the bit about the friends that's horrible and I wouldn't want to be friends with people like that. No wonder she feels insecure, I def suggest her getting therapy to work through these things. All your friends are shallow racist assholes. Oreo is horrendous. I can't believe you put a racist joke on your wedding cake. So much about this is a shit show. Now the tables have turned, therapy. So your entire relationship she thought of you as, less, because you weren't attractive in her eyes? And you want to be in a relationship with such a shallow person? It seems like she only started dating you so she could always be the prettier one and now that this doesn't work anymore, you're no use. First off, I am Indian and nothing is hotter to me than a tall, dark guy with curly hair. Are you kidding? Secondly, you already said you are at an impasse. So, you know what to do. All the best and remember, beauty standards are only created to put people down and control them. You are handsome and no one can change that. All the best. Your wife was okay with when you were called ugly but now blames you for being attractive. IDK how are you okay with this behavior and you have made a bad choice by getting married when she treats you like shit. She is showing her true colors now. Therapy might help but no one wants to be married to that kind of person. She never defended you when people passed racist comments towards you am I right? Bro. Why are you equating dark skin and curly hair with being ugly? Is your girlfriend a racist? Help. My 14 yo sister is dating a 21 yo creep and my parents don't care. This guy is a total creeper, he's dated lots of much younger girls and it's known he's really toxic and pushy to do stuff the girls don't want to. He even got accused of r wording a girl last year. I told my parents and they don't really care cuz when they got together it was an even bigger age gap. Mom was 16, dad was 26, and they turned out fine. They just won't let him sleep over but he has an apartment and she's allowed to go over as long as she's home by 11. I told the school guidance counselor and all he did was call our parents who still didn't care and he was like, well if they're okay with it that's fine, and apparently cuz there's no evidence he's actually doing anything with her cuz he told my sister to tell everyone they're abstinent till marriage, which they deaf errant. There's no evidence of a crime. IDK who I can go to who can stop this. She's basically getting groomed and she thinks they're in love. Call the police, this guy is a legit pedophile. When she goes to his apartment call the police and tell them there's a grown man that took your sister to his home. And give them the address hands clapping medium light skin tone. Your parents making it as 1626 yo is a rare thing and also 14 and 16 on its own is quite a difference. On top of that this guy has a history, so it's not some innocent dude being very careful but more like targeted a-hole. So yeah that's baffling parents see no danger there. The chance of nothing happening is quite small here. This is called being a nonce. Call the police when she next goes round and tell them that you know they are doing sexual stuff. Keep calling them and raising complaints. You could even follow your sister one time to find his address. You can also contact social services to raise a concern. Also tell your sister if this guy was so cool and great why wouldn't he be with a woman his own age? Why would he choose to be with a kid? When she stops being a kid he won't be interested in her anymore because he is a nonce. He doesn't love her he just likes that fact she is a vulnerable kid. I.e. her parents don't care about her and are neglecting her, and he can get away with sexually abusing her. You need to do all you can to help her out of this situation. As someone who was in this kind of situation, me 15 16 him 20 21. I was naive and thought he liked me for who I was. Turns out he was just into lawless and was a full pervert. I moved out of my home because my parents wouldn't allow such a relationship to happen. After he broke up with me and as I got older, currently 22, I look back at it and think about what a dumbass I was. Here's hoping she realizes the same thing sooner rather than later. 14 is too young to be involved with any kind of relationship like this and I would strongly suggest you got to the police about it because no matter how much your sister will hate it at the time, she will realize that you helped her instead of let it happen. As a former victim of grooming myself I can only ask you to go to the police. Looking back, I wish someone had actually cared enough to protect me, but my family just gossiped about my daddy issues, and my father practically stopped talking to me for a while. Call the police and child protective services because your dad is a predator and is supporting your sister being groomed and possibly raped by this grown adult man. Make sure you give the cops his name and his age and they should be able to find him. You can call both child services and the police and make an anonymous report, 
Your name will only come out if something is done about it. Protect your sister. Wow child predator. I had triplets. Mum is helping me out but I feel like I have four babies to manage when she's here. I have infant triplets. Their father, my husband, left us while I was pregnant so my parents let me stay in their holiday home. It's more like a cabin in the area we went on holiday as children, but it serves my purposes. My purposes include taking care of three infants. The deal while I'm here is that I arrange for the expenses, so food, gas, water, electricity, etc., and my parents get the satisfaction of knowing that my kids and I have a roof over our heads. At least, that's how it was pitched to me. The reality is that my mother just shows up. No warning, no request, not even a text to say she's coming. I get that it's her house and I'm not paying rent, but I feel like wanting a text is not unreasonable. However, when I ask her she goes off about how it's her house and she shouldn't have to. She says she's here to help me. She is not helping me. When she's here I am still doing all of the cooking, cleaning, childcare, etc., with the only difference being that I now do it for mum. Too while she, for her part, continues to treat this as a holiday home, either going out and doing tourist stuff or playing with the babies, the latter of which would be helpful if it was something I asked her to do, but not so much when she's actively waking the kids up for it, or playing with them when I need to do something else, like bathe them. Mum's visits are usually once a month, and last one two weeks. The kids are seven months old, and I have limited income for the near future that depends on me staying in this area, so I need to keep using the cabin and can't just move out but mum constantly coming here and then not doing shit and just watching me struggle is really getting to me. She left a few days ago, so likely won't be here for at least another week, and I need a plan for when she comes back as I want to address this, but I need to be mindful that I can't afford to be kicked out when I do it. How can I respectfully ask her to stop being a pain in the ass and help me? In general what should my next steps be? What happens when you specifically ask her for help? As in, when you say, oh, wonderful, can you give them all a bath? Or, mom, I'm so glad you're here. Would you mind entertaining the kids while I run to the store? Remember that nap time is at 2. Or, I'm so glad I have you to help, mom. Can you cook dinner tonight? Or, oh, tourist attraction. The kids would love that. Why don't you take them with you? Could you appeal to your father to intervene? Is there a friend or someone who you can arrange to drop by? When your mom is there either to actually help out which may prompt your mom to start pitching in, or to distract your mom from waking the babies and such. It sounds like a very tough situation. Having one baby at a time is hard enough. Have you connected with other moms of multiples? Is their father helping with financial support at all? If not, can you start the process yo get child support? Are you close enough with your dad to talk to him about intervening on your behalf, like telling your mom he just can't cope when she is away for so long? Your rent isn't free. Your rent is babysitting your mom half the month. Are you in the US? Go apply for child support, TANF, housing assistance, Medicaid, food stamps and WIC. Start stacking a you can do you can move out, even if it is with a roommate. Look for another parent so you can trade off babysitting. Stop cooking and cleaning for her etc. I would try little things and see if they change. I would start with not waking them up because they'll be angry and won't want to play and really able to enjoy her. She's not going to help you chore-wise, so can she help you to buy things? Instead of making dinner, buy dinner. Then shower her with praise about how much of a good mom she is. She's not going to change, but can you use aspects of her personality to help you out? Instead of taking care of three babies, maybe she can show off one baby at the supermarket. It's time for a boundaries talk, and a detailed calendar, daily schedule. Terrible. I have no advice to give but I hope you're getting child support. Am I just paranoid or is my husband of 13 years cheating on me? And hash x200b. This is my first time on Reddit and made an account for this, and I'm simply seeking some advice on a situation. And hash x200b. My husband and I have been married for 13 years. I've known him to be lively and outgoing throughout our marriage. He's been quieter and more secretive around me during the last four months. I didn't think much of it at first, supposing he'd just become little depressed over something. I began to ask about his day more often and began to pay more attention to him and do more things for him, such as buying him things he enjoys and cooking meals that he likes more frequently. Nothing appeared to help him get back to his old self, despite my best efforts. I was worried that he had become bored with our marriage, but I tried my hardest to push such ideas out of my mind. 
I was continuously pushing these thoughts out of my mind until one day I discovered some unusual items in our home. In our bed, I discovered some strands of long blonde hair. I have long brown hair and he has short brown hair. I just figured it was a stray hair from one of our work uniforms and overlooked it. I found a new frilly shirt in the laundry a week later. When I checked the size, it was a small, so I immediately recognized that it wasn't mine, I am a medium. When I asked him about it, he said that I must have forgotten about buying it. I know that I am not one to forget such things like this, so I chose to leave the situation since, despite his bright personality, he has a short fuse and is easily annoyed when you question him too much. I was in bed with him last night, watching TV, and he got some notifications on his phone. I questioned as to who it was this late, 10-ish p.m., and he replied, it's about a work meeting. I was curious as to why they would message him about this so late, but he is a hard worker, so I didn't think much of it and didn't want to be too nosy. However, I did see something strange, he moved the phone screen away from me and began typing while smirking. I probed as to what was so amusing, but he merely stated that it was nothing and that I shouldn't be so intrusive on his life. Frustrated, I quietly turned around and just went to sleep, exhausted and annoyed that he was keeping secrets from me. He's at work right now so I am typing this. I'm not sure what I should do, and I need some suggestions. Do I confront him? I'm scared this will bring our marriage to an end, and I'm not and never will be mentally ready for something like that as I really do love him. Is it just me, or do you think there's something else going on? Am I just being paranoid? And hash x200b. I apologize in advance if my language is poor. I was just worried and upset while typing. Hairs in your bed? Random female shirts in your laundry? No you aren't being paranoid. It's pretty messed up that he's having sex with her in your home. Your husband suddenly being distant and secretive is a red flag on its own, same thing with the late night texts. I hate to jump to this conclusion, but the hairs and the sweater that you know isn't yours? He's cheating. Sounds like the evidence is smacking you in the face but you're scared to open your eyes. I would bring it up but don't accuse him cuss that'll just start an argument. Tell him how this has been making you feel and ask him to work with you to make things easier. If he doesn't want to budge, then it's time to reflect upon your own values and go from there. Do you respect yourself enough to put your foot down? Relationships are two-way streets, and it's not fair if you're the only one putting in an effort. Oh honey, he's definitely doing something. Please make a plan to leave if needed and confront him. I hate to be dramatic but set up a sting like say you're leaving a few days in advance and then sit in the bushes with binoculars and set up cameras. Then update. If it looks, sounds, smells, and tastes like a duck, chances are it's not a cat. I'm scared this will bring our marriage to an end. It's already over. Cut your losses. A private detective should get enough crap on him in just a few days for you to use in court. Good luck since an open marriage doesn't seem to be an option. I really don't understand these posts. I'm sorry but do you have to catch him in the act before you do something? It's hard and yes you will be in pain but you need to act before he gives you a disease that won't go away or may kill you. Respect yourself. You're finding this stuff in your home and he's trying to make you feel crazy. It took me several times and finally to catch one of my two husbands in the act before I started respecting myself more. No need being with someone who doesn't love me enough not to get it from someone else. After I caught my second husband I got tested for a year because I ended up with something. It scared me and I had a son to raise. Praying for you folded hands.